So would that apply to, I guess, non-dating offers as well, too? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like I said, the lower the login count, the more likely the person is to sign up or to purchase. And depending on your gender and I guess your age as well, um, session, depth, session depth would also uh, play a role. Okay, so these bigger guys, the bigger POF guys, they must be doing something different. Other than playing with the session depth login count and the extreme targeting that I've seen people do, what are some other interesting things that you've seen that they do that is different, that sets them up? apart from the rest of the crowd? Um, they split test a lot more because they're playing with a larger demo. Like you can't spend two, three, four thousand dollars a day on a small demographic, right? Like these guys are going broad, like US wide, Canada wide, UK wide. So the stakes are much higher, right? Mm. Uh, so they, they need to figure out generic angles as opposed to niche angles. So a generic angle, uh, for a male, maybe something like, hey, are you looking to date a younger female? Because typically males do go for younger females. Mm -hmm. um, so they spend a lot of the time looking for that generic um, gold mind angle, right? <laughs> which a lot of the smaller avatars may not do because the, um, they're in the niches and so the, the angle is very, very uh, obvious. Uh, so they may not get pushed to discover more angles. Uh, and the same goes for landing pages too. Um, playing with enter pops, exit pops, under pops is one. Email submits, like you mentioned, is another. Um, different pictures, uh, you know, having pictures of uh, the opposite sex uh, or the same sex. Actually, the same sex only really works for women. So there's a tip. Uh, <laughs> you can show women to women and they'll be okay with it. If you show men to men, they'll freak out. So don't do it. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Um, so on your landing page, if you're targeting women, having a picture of women uh, or a picture with men, uh, just doing different things, right? Um, but being really diligent about it, doing it on a weekly basis, constantly testing is really what sets people apart. I see. Well, you know, I know so POF is popular in a couple of non-speaking, uh, non-English speaking countries as well. So do you see that advertisers change their, I don't know, maybe offer or the creative based on, do they, do they take cultural difference into account when they advertise? Absolutely. Um, we have a few advertisers who have broken down the states. I, I think they did like um, like a racial breakdown of, of where the different races are or ethnicities are predominantly in the U.S. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it was like West Coast, like Seattle and, and parts of California were a bunch of Asian people. So they did Asian dating there. And then like Texas and like uh, in the East Coast, it was a lot of like African-American dating and I think Hispanic was there as well. So they really broke down like the U.S. in terms of its um, of its ethnicities. And then in the central U.S., they did, um, I think it was like farmers only dating. It was like really <laughs> rural type dating, right? So they really broke down the U.S. and, and figured out the right uh, ad and the right um, offer for these people, right? Uh, but if you're going to do stuff like go into Brazil, you may want to advertise brunettes because that's what is predominant there, right? So you, you really do have to take cultural difference or cultural um, or have your ads be culturally sensitive to the demographic you're going at. Um, and, you know, at the very least, translate your ad and, and do a better job than just put it into Google Translate because that's terrible <laughs> and that's going to affect your bottom line. Um, so at least translate your ad if you're going to go into um, non-English. Okay, right on. That was great advice. Well, okay, let me just a couple of uh, wrap-up questions. So let me ask you a question. If somebody came to you and said, hey, Ben, I have um, 500 bucks and I need to promote my product. Let's say it's a non-dating product and I want to yeah. I want to target men 20 to 25 uh, who make over like and we'll make between anywhere between forty and sixty thousand dollars. Like, what, what, what do you, what would you recommend? How, how do you recommend that they go about it? Um, if you only had a hundred dollars, uh, and this is like U.S. wide. Uh, yeah, U.S. wide. Okay. Let's say I sell That's... like I don't know, like vitamins or something. <laughs> All right. If it was vitamins, a hundred bucks, uh, you'd have to go niche, because uh, if you went broad, like just did everyone in the U.S. between those ages that were male, you'd, you'd skim the surface with 100 bucks and not even really finding any meaningful data, right? Right. 
Um, so, so I would go for a really, really, really small demo. It's actually much better to learn a lot about a few amount of people than a little about a lot of people, right? Mm -hmm. um, so really think about what type of vitamins you have and who would benefit from it. Um, you could, you know, you can even make an angle out of it, right? Like the best vitamins for divorced men or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like try and sell that angle to say, I don't know, without being non-compliant, just say, like, you know, these are specially formulated for guys who are looking to get back in the game. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's type interesting. Deal. Okay, so create creativity plays a, plays a big role, I guess, huh? Yeah, if you don't have budget, creativity is definitely your friend. I see. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, actually, going back to maybe this is something that I guess, uh, you know, uh, viewers that are actually in ad networks, like mm -hmm. what... Uh, how, how do you guys go about what was the best marketing channel for you guys in terms of getting an advertiser for POS? Uh, oh, for getting new new advertisers. Okay. Um, the blog works well. Mm -hmm. um, so for those that don't know, I have a blog and it's at blog.ads.pof.com. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that blog, I, I write in it not as frequently as I should, mm -hmm. but I don't fill it with any BS. I think that if you're going to spend the time to read what I write, mm -hmm. then I'm going to spend the time to make sure it's worth your time reading. And that's why I don't post that much. All the info there um, is what I consider top-notch info, unless it's a joke in an April Fool's post or something. But um, that has actually got a lot of response from people who, um, who are in the industry just... I give away free information and you know it comes back in one form or another mm. so the blog is good um again conferences are amazing that's probably where we got most of the co the contacts we have for our ad networks that run with us currently mm. you know there are a lot of a lot of ad networks out there and as a traffic source we have to make sure that our partners um are going to be legitimate and not going to like put on uh, bad ads that we don't want to see on the site. So meeting someone face to face and going for a drink with them really solidifies that relationship. So uh, if you're looking for an ad network, definitely go to an affiliate summit or an ad tech. There's just tons of ad networks and even some agencies out there too. Uh, so if you can't go to an ad network or sorry, an, an agency conference or an ad network conference, um, then putting yourself out there is something I think, um, is really good and and the guy like the affiliate I think that does the best job of doing that right now is a guy named Charles Ngo. Mm. Um, have you read his blog? Yeah, yeah, all? yeah. One time I wrote something, he trashed me. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> no, that guy. His blog is a really good read. Um, and I think you know if people an ad networker they're looking to partner up with somebody, they can at least read the blog and find out more about this person, right? right so right. just for yourself, just put something out there, um, make sure you know the info is good. And I think people, once they read it and they, and they see what kind of person you are and what you're like to work with, I think that really unlocks a, a lot of potential. Um, it's, it's just awesome. You meet someone new and they don't really know too much about you and you tell them, hey, you know, I rate this blog, check it out. And then if they say, wow, this guy actually knows what he's talking about, then the chances of doing business are, are substantially higher, right? And, and same goes for the networks. If, if you're a network and you want uh, publishers and if you want traffic sources, then you have to distinguish yourself somehow. It's just not about, you know, we have this EPC, we have this payout or, or whatever. Um, you know, we, we like to work with people that we like. So basically, yeah, my advice is, you know, attend the shows if you can. If not, put something out there that's worth reading and, and you know, Hopefully people, uh, once you introduce yourself, they can legitimize yourself through your blog or through whatever it is that you write and kind of go from there. Mm, great advice. If you could, one, one last wrap-up question. If you could provide a newbie entrepreneur who never did anything, they want to dip into your POF advertising, do some kind of display advertising, what, based on what you've seen so far, who's mm -hmm. successful, what, if you could provide one tip, or one tip only, what would that be? <laughs> only one tip. one uh, <laughs> it's almost like the wishing for more wishes right yeah. so <laughs> go go to the blog the pof blog because in that blog are like a hundred tips <laughs> so my tip for you is to go read more tips <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
uh, it's a free resource, right? We don't, I don't charge you anything for reading it. Um, and I think it's better than a lot of the paid uh, resources out there that you could get. So um, go to the blog. It has things like case studies. It has uh, what are some common mistakes to look out for, how to turn them around and make them profitable. Um, it has just general marketing strategies, um, you know, what kind of creatives work, which ones don't work, why certain colors work, why certain colors don't work. So, for example, you know, try not to put the color red in your ad. Um, red means stop psychologically, right? So you want to put in a, a blue or a green color because that's more of a go type color. Oh, so that's that type of stuff is in the blog. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if you're new, your, your number one priority should be to educate yourself as much as you can before you put in any money. Um, so so our, my blog is good. And there's a bunch of forums out there, too, that you can um, discuss strategies with and, and people who are in the same boat as you. Um, sometimes there are masterminds. So masterminds are just a group of people who are interested in a, getting to the same goal. Yeah. And they just help each other out. So oh. you try and join a mastermind. And, and these are all free, right? They, they just cost you a little bit of time right right and yeah definitely educate yourself that would be the best way and if, and if you need resources you can always email me uh, and then i can forge you a bunch of stuff to read if you're interested wow good advice thanks ben appreciate it hey before i go is there anything else that uh, you'd like to say is how do people contact you how do how do people reach you if they have some questions maybe want to get started yeah so my email is ben at pof.com that's B E N at P O F dot com. And it's right behind you if people don't know it's spelled P O F. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my blog, the address again is blog dot ads dot P O F dot com. So B L O G dot A D S dot P O F dot com. And then the actual self-serve ad platform where you can sign up and run ads is just ads.pof.com awesome. if you're single and you want to join the website then it's pof.com <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's good, yeah. you know i think it, the one thing you should know about me is i'm a very honest type person i'm very transparent if if you present me something and i don't think it's going to work i'll tell you straight up i don't think it's going to work <laughs> uh, but i'll also give you a suggestion on what I think will work awesome. and so that way you don't feel like your time's wasted talking to me so um, that's the way I prefer to do business and, and I, hopefully that's the, the way you guys like to do business that are out there just laying it out on the table what you need to get accomplished how you think you're going to accomplish that and I can take a look and give you some feedback on what I think is going to work and not work and just move forward together okay. and that's worked pretty well for us and I think that's what we're going to do going forward <laughs> Well, thanks, thanks, man. I appreciate your time for your uh, insights and your, you know shared ideas. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, no yeah. Again, everyone, thank you for joining me on uh, Fresh Super Cool Marketing Summit Fridays. I'll see you next week. Thanks, Ben.